YouTube wants people to watch material on their platform so that YouTube can run ads on those videos that people are watching. So if you can just figure out what people are searching for, what they're looking for, what they're being suggested based on the skills, gifts, and talents that you know are gonna benefit someone, they're gonna help someone. There's people out there in the world that are looking for it. It's just a matter of you being that authority figure and understanding that you're not gonna be that authority figure right away. Has there been cases where people just explode? Yes. Is there a strategy where you can explode? Yes. Is it gonna cost money? Yes. Is it gonna cost you time? Yes. Yeah. So all of it is, is a yes. Right? What it really just boils down to is your willingness to step out, learn these skills, put them into practice, do them even if you're bad at it, mm -hmm. right? And you'll grow in the process. So the, the biggest things that I know will lead to success in Miner's case is A, he hit the red button. He just hit the record button. Two, he put it out there for people to watch. And three, there's a consistency of material being put out there. You said 104 videos <laughs> from January 2023 till now, correct? Right. So that's around 10, 11 months almost, right? Of putting out content over a period of time, 104 videos. Subscribers, by the way, if you're brand new, subscribers don't mean anything. Mm. They're really not important. It's like a vanity metric. It's really not important at all. What's important is the viewers, right? So. You said you have 154-ish subscribers, mm -hmm. but you're getting, say, 100 views on a video, maybe 50, maybe 150 views, and then a random video that you post for 10 seconds gets 5,000 views, mm -hmm. right? If you guys add up and you look at your channel, you look up the total amount of views, think, just think about does that amount of views look like in person, mm. right? Like if Miner gets 5,000 views on one video or 150 or just say 100 views, on one video, imagine there was 100 people in the room mm. that you were talking to in front of people. That's literally what's happening, right? And then depending on how long they're, you know, watching the material, as long as you have some kind of a call to action, action steps for people to take, you're now gonna get a recurring, say, viewer that can be eventually a customer over a period of time. And it's just a matter of sticking with it and reminding people of what you do, how you do it, and how it can benefit them. And you might have to say it 500 different ways, right? Yeah. Just stick with it. Any, any like aha moments or like, cause you're in the grind right now. You're in the building stage. You're in the, you're in the disappointing phase mm -hmm. where you've, you've been called into a direction, which whenever, whenever we find our gift and our purpose, it's immediately uh, presented with yeah. adversity, obstacles, yeah. challenges, and, and a disappointing. So we're in that disappointing phase, so to speak, which is really, if you look at it the right way, it's not disappointing at all. It's just, we have a problem of comparing ourselves to that guru that's made, that has a million, 10 million, a billion views, right. right? And we're over here with our little measly couple hundred <laughs> views here. But t to me, like my mindset, when I first dropped my video and got 28 views, I was ecstatic. So, it, it just set a standard for me. Like s my standard was so low that anything above it was like, I'm, I'm flipping tables. I'm excited. Like, oh my God, 28 people just watched my video. So that if you could have that mindset instead of only 28 people watch my video, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. 28 people just watch my video. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Let me comment. Let me respond to those viewers. Let me let my next video. I'm gonna ask them, hey, for the 28 people that watch my video, can you comment below? I'd like to have an interaction with you. I'd like to have a discussion with you and figure out what did you find so valuable about that video? Mm -hmm. And that's gonna course correct and help me continue to make more and more content. And know that you don't have to have a huge following to have a huge impact and generate a large amount of income for your, for your family. Mm -hmm. So any aha moments or uh, additional things you'd like to add here before yeah. we wrap up. So yeah, I, I want to talk about the aha moment, but I want uh, to go back to the, the number of people that I was in front of. So you're talking about viewers. I mean, the analytics say it's about 26,000. Okay, I'm like, if I hadn't hit that red button, I wouldn't have those 26,000. So that's, that's huge.